The Ministry of Social Welfare released on results in Maine is planning to draft a national strategic plan to close ITP homes in Kitchen, Shan, Gayin, and Rockhine states. There are over 160,000 people who have been displaced at more than 140 ITP homes in these states. In Kitchen State, around 90,000 displaced persons are taking shelter at more than 130 homes. Comp managers in Nijina of Kitchen State stressed trauma of the displaced persons is one of the challenges for resettlement, and at the same time, most of the IDPs are facing health and education issues due to low awareness. Wawakine reports. Due to the armed conflict in the region, people have been fleeing to the IDP camps since 2012. At present, there are 23 IDP camps with over 10,000 populations in Mijina Township. In our village, we have difficulties in transportation. We are also frightened to live in our village, so we came to this camp. I have nine family members. Every month, we receive 11,000 just for each family member, but we have still difficulties for our livelihoods. Education and language is more important for our children. Other persons have high hope to get peace in short time and go back to their original places due to the difficulties in health and education for their family members, the manager of Trinity IDP Camp said. As we all want real peace in our region, stakeholders should consider the life of local people while negotiating for the peace process. The important thing is that we need to help ITPs settle in their original places and live peacefully in the near future. Besides, the IDPs have concerns for their security, although they wish to go back to their original place. We ran away from our village because we are not safe living in our village. Even though we want to go back our own places, we are still fear to live in our village. We opened this camp since December 2012 and now 971 people are living in the camp. Most of the people from our camp are really want to go back to their original places and hoping to get peace in the near future. Last month, the state councillor Dong Sun Suji visited St. Joseph IDP camp during her trip to Medina. She also provided food stuff and cash and kind assistance for the displayed persons. Hoa Kai, MITV, Myanmar International Television.